Okay, I'm going to show how I went about reassembling the gearbox on my 1930 3-speed BT box. First thing to do is to install the large washer which goes in front of this bearing and the recess on the washer faces down onto the bearing. So just pop that in there. Then the next thing to do is to fit the main gear chain, gear train. At this stage, just position it inside the box, but you don't need to put it into the bearing at the bottom. Now, take this gear cluster and insert it into the selector mechanism. That goes in, I can hold both, like that. No, it's not in properly on that side, that's it. Right, so I position that. I can now position the bottom gear in its bearing housing. Okay, now the next part can be really fiddly, and <laughs> it is simply about putting in the main shaft and lining up the keyways in the gear with the keys on the shaft. Um, so we simply insert that in there and then fiddle about until the two are lined up and the gear is inserted. I'm not going to show this on the video because it takes a bit of time and fiddling to get that right but basically uh, that's all you do and that will be it, the gearbox assembled. Okay, gears now assembled on the shaft and you can see the mechanism. So in this position we're in first gear. Moving this forward now comes up into second gear and you can actually see that the only thing that's holding this gear in position is the position of the carrier. And it's why it's so critical on the sunbeam to have the gear change mechanism correctly adjusted if this is too far out, you're mating on the edge of the gear um, either way and you're going to end up with a lot of wear. If the gear is then extended further forward, we would now engage top gear. And top gear is not on the box at the moment, but here it is. That simply, that would normally be sitting there and as the gear carriage slides forward, it engages so that we have top gear. And that is it.